Hello everyone, welcome to Pan Reading Freya. In this video, I'm going to be talking about healing. What items do I use uh, when I do healing and someone? What do I say? Um, how do I do it? Okay, uh, to begin with, um, I would like to mention that I have never taken a class on Reiki or energy healing or any other classes that um, could be available out there for anyone in order to learn how to heal someone else. Um, the thing that happened to me is um, I had a dream, okay? And in this dream, I was shown how to heal a person. And this is going to be kind of hard to explain to me, or maybe I don't know if um, you will understand or get it, but I will try my best, okay? So in this dream, um, I was the one that received healing. And in this dream, who I saw is my mother, a friend, and I also have seen my grandmother because they have both shown, shown me uh, how to do it in different ways. Okay, now, um, when I was having this dream with my mother and a friend, um, my mother is alive, okay? My mother's alive, my mother has not passed, and for one reason or another, um, she has come in my dreams to guide me in many oca occasions and to show me how to do something or how to resolve something. Now, the friend that I had uh, the dream with uh, in this occasion, he, he has passed, uh, and I also, feel that he is either my guy or someone in the spirit trying to help me and guide me. Okay, so in this occasion, the healing was performed with uh, sage, oh my goodness, sorry, with sage, and they first uh, cleanse my body. Okay, so that is also how I do it. Uh, what I do on a person that I'm going to heal, um, I always, first of all, um, do a, a cleansing. Okay, sometimes when they have uh, chakras that are out of balance, and the way that I do, okay, to find the chakra that is out of balance is to use a pendulum, okay? You can use a pendulum to see which chakra all you're gonna need is a picture of the person just from their stomach up, and you go through every chakra, okay? When the chakra is in balance, the, 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 um, the, the pendulum, <laughs> I'm sorry, will spin when the cha when the chakra is out of balance the pendulum will will have a hard time okay moving or it will not move or, or you will see or you will see it doing weird things okay so in your healings you can use your pendulum but first of all like i was saying okay the cleansing once i have done the cleansing then i always say a prayer okay i have a prayer and i always say the same prayer um, I don't use any spells, I don't use crazy wo words, or I don't use anything fancy, okay, that you that the, you or anyone might be able to find out there. I don't do love spells, I don't do spells for money, uh, but there are things, you know, that can help you be lucky okay the other thing that i use okay so cleansing and then i go to the prayer and then i go to crystals okay you can use crystals um for headaches for um for luck to bring luck into the person's life uh to bring clarity to feel more balance you know and many things like that for that i will advise everyone to buy you a book I ask about crystals, okay? Once you learn, okay, this crystal, I can use it for this or that, or that, then you can purchase the crystals, and then you will use those on the person, either on the picture, you put them on the picture, or you give it to the person, okay? They have to carry it either in their pocket, or they have to put it in their wallet, next to their bed, whatever they think, okay, um, this is better for me, okay? But using the crystals is very beneficial and it works. The other thing that I use is um, 
oils, okay? This is a protecting oil. You can purchase a protecting oil and you can implement that in your healings and prayers. Now, um, you can also purchase other oils that you might feel um, either attracted to or that you feel um, this is going to help, okay? You can buy whatever you want. This is sandals wood and I use mirror. Okay, and this one is um, frankincense and mirror. This is one of my favorite ones. I also use that during my readings. Okay, so now let's um, try to put it together. Okay, so the cleansing. Sometimes finding out, okay, what chakra is stuck because um, when a person has a chakra that is out of balance, uh, we are going to see that in a uh, a person feeling a certain way, okay? Like, for example, they might not be able to express themselves, they might not be able to, to love someone or let go of the love of someone, and, and that can help you and guide you, okay? So cleansing, if the chakras are out of balance, where they are, what crystals can help you, how to implement your crystals in the healing, and the other thing that I use is candles, okay? It's normal candles. These are not any fancy candles um, that will put any spells or anything like that. Everything that I use pretty much is, you can, you can say it's natural and it's available, um, like this is available at a grocery store, okay? It's just Angel, Angel Michael, okay? So that, and then uh, the picture. Um, I'm sorry. So the other thing that you can also um, think about um, what can I use in my healings or what can I give the person after you have performed healing for someone. Um, you can purchase a book about um, amulets and talismans, okay? Because I think that it's important for a person that has received healing to either carry a crystal, I'm sorry, carry a crystal around or um, put on a protective necklace, okay? And that is something that you could use. But going down, going down to, okay, what is the main part? What is the main part? And where does the healing takes, play, takes place? And how do I do it, okay? So what I do usually is I just concentrate on the person. And this I do it just with energy, okay? For example, um, I can concentrate on a person. I start praying about that person. I have done the cleansing. Then let's say, for example, that someone says, you know what, I'm having a lot of pain on my shoulder. So what I do is I concentrate on that person and on the person's shoulders, and I just close my eyes, and I imagine that I feel that area with light or energy, and I'm moving this energy around. You can say that I'm moving that energy either as a vibrational thing or that I am moving that energy in lighting it up and moving it around or this is kind of hard to explain, okay? But I just use my vision and the energy to heal that area. Once I have healed it with white light, um, I like to also incorporate green light because to me, the color green always mean, means healing. And with the incorporation of the white light and with the incorporation of the green light, light um, this is how I perform the healing. But this is all mental, this is with energy. Um, it's no touching, it's no physical things, it's no, um, I don't know, whatever you wanna call it. It's not interfering either and the person's will, or on the person's mind, or things like that, okay? This is all um, done, like I will say, uh, like naturally, naturally. Okay, so after I had performed that, you know, sometimes a person can immediately begin feeling um, better right away, but some other are not the same, okay? Like we are all different, and some people I notice, you know, some, some might take a little longer, than others, and I, I usually like to do a three-day healing. This indicates for one day, I cleanse the person, pray on the person, and um, do, a pro, do a protecting oil, okay? Light up a candle next to them, 
or in an area where I've been praying for that person to get better. I also do the energy healing for the three days. Now, when when a person has healed, I'm I'm also able to receive the symbol, the you know the signal. Okay, this person has healed because when I concentrate on the person, when I concentrate on the area, and I think about okay, this person needs more healing, and I'm trying to put energy into that area. I just feel it like no. You can't do it no more. It has healed. Um, you have done the job, and 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 it's not necessary to put no more energy into that person anymore or into the area. What I usually do, I let the candle, you know, the angel candle, just be consumed. Consume until the, the candle uh, turns off by itself. This is also something that you might notice, okay, if you use candles um, in your healings, there are times a candle will consume very fast and quickly. And other times the candle will take like too many days, okay? It's like burning very slow. The flame is very calm, it's peaceful. And when the candle uh, burns very slow and peaceful, this also indicates to me, okay, this is working. This is um, taking a little longer because maybe either more time is necessary or either um, the person's energy is slowly changing. But when someone has a lot of things going on, you know, this can be a lot of uh, worry, preoccupation, a lot of arguments, a lot of misunderstandings, that at times I have noticed causes the candle to burn very quickly and rapidly. Why? Because it's like using a lot of energy. It's like, I don't know, you know, it's, all this is kind of strange, uh, but that is how I know it has worked. Sometimes you will also notice a candle could make a black ring around it, okay? This indicates to me, okay, if it has a black uh, ring around it, that is an indication, okay, um, more time in another candle can, can be needed and necessary. Why? Because maybe, like I said, the person is going through a lot of stuff and is going to need more time, okay? So, cleansing, crystals, oils, a candle, and energy. The energy healing is very hard to explain, um, but um, maybe, you know, uh, you just got to practice. You just got to practice and see, okay, is it energy healing something that will work for me or not? Can I do it or not? Maybe also what I will recommend is that you look it up. You know, you look it up. How, how, how can I learn to energy heal a person? And this is all mental for me. This is all energetically. Um, like I said, I don't do any spells to force love. I don't do any sp spells or anything, okay? I don't, actually, I don't do spells at all. All I do is healing. And this is coming from a place of love, coming from a positive energy, and uh, having uh, in my mind that what I'm doing is for the good of the person. Always in... Uh, in my heart, understanding that I'm, I'm either I'm doing it in a positive way or to help the person, never to harm anyone, never to do any crazy stuff, okay? Because, um, you know, it happens. Can you make this person love me or things like that, okay? I don't like to do that. I, ne I'm nev I would never do that. So the other and last thing that I like to also um, use during a healing and that I will recommend anyone, you know, in, especially after any cleansing. This isn't any type of cleansing that, um, that you do. Either you can do it with sage, with palo santo, with an egg, or a bonfire, whatever for you indicates. Okay, I'm cleansing myself. What I like to do is give something like this to the person, okay? Sometimes I just give them out free if they are in the United States. If not, then they can purchase. They can purchase their own. Okay, they can purchase their own um, bracelets. And uh, I mean, for this, the sky is the limit. Okay, you can choose anything. If you are religious, 
chose something with angels, chose something with a figure that you believe, and put it on, okay? Also, something like this. This is more like for luck and um, having success in life. So, there you have it. Um, as always, before you begin anything new, inform yourself, buy yourself a couple books. What are the amulets that are recommended that will help a person? What are the crystals, you know, that um, are recommended? What does a crystal do? Because I think that is very important, okay? And um, the way that I do it, I also use these crystal energies in the distance to help that person. And, um, I mean, I had, I had already received uh, positive feedback about the healings I had done. Um, everyone that I have come across have uh, sooner or later noticed an improvement. Uh, like I said, okay, when a person, when you, if you are interested in doing healing, I never give up, okay, never give up and never say, you know what, I cannot do this or not, I cannot do this or that. Why? Because I have also found out that um, some person, some people are easier cases than other cases. Uh, by this, I mean some people need more time than others. Not only a three-day healing, some need a 15-day healing, some need a, a, a month healing. But the good thing is that, um, you know, when you receive the signal and after you are a little more advanced, um, when you are healing someone and you receive that, that signal, you know what, this person is going to heal, this person is going to be okay, things are going to begin changing, things are going to begin looking better for that person. Um, when I see it and I recognize it, I'm like, okay, I'm glad I didn't stop because um, now I, I re have received the signal. And this is something invaluable, okay? It doesn't have price. So that's, that is why I, I will recommend you, okay? If you are healing someone, don't give up. Just put in your mind in an understanding, okay? It's fine. It's going to take longer, but slowly but surely, we are going to get there, okay? So that is all I have for now. As always, if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for allowing me. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye.